Oh, you need notes. Don't ever be afraid to interrupt me. Okay. Say, hey, Mr. Gates. in the middle of your notes, it kind of didn't get stapled. The copy would have a lot of problems. So, but I think you should be okay. And that's the whole thing. Okay. Yep. Okay. Uh, we go to our notes. Uh, here we pick up with example four. Uh, we'll spend about 10, 12 minutes on this. We'll give you time to work. The answer key is posted. We're going to teach you something a little bit newer today. We're right in the wheelhouse of your algebra solving equations. Here I need to solve for x. I notice that x is in two spots. In order to solve, I just need x's on one side. It is okay to put your x's on the right-hand side. A lot of people um, <laughs> avoid putting the x's on the right-hand side. Um, some teachers early on in math, they always say, always put your x's on the left-hand side. Um, that's okay, but at this point, you know, those of you who are interested in you know, taking a college-level math class someday, we, we can vary things up a little bit. We get 12 is equal to x, okay? Uh, for letter B, um, I will choose to do this one, putting the x's on the left-hand side by subtracting 9x. And notice we get a positive 9x minus 36 is equal to 0. So you can do that. Just note that you have 0 on the other side. Then you can <coughs> excuse me, add the 36 over to get 9x is 36. Divide by 9, and x is 4. Any questions with that example? Okay, if you flip it over, I we're going to skip letter D. I would like you to try letter C on your own. Please do letter C on your own. See if we can come up with the right answer again. In about a minute. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add my 2x to both sides, and I get 12x plus 3 is equal to negative 9. I subtract that 3, 12x is equal to negative 12, divide by 12, I get x is negative 1. Everybody okay with that? Our goal is to get through letter D today, so we're going to do these six. For letter E, notice that this whole side is being multiplied by 2. You could try to decide divide the other side by 2, but um, 5 doesn't really divide well by 2. So in this situation, I'm going to choose to distribute the 2 through the parentheses. And when I do, I get 8x plus 5 is equal to 2x plus 6. Now it's time to gather our terms on one side. I'll subtract the 2x to get 6x plus 5 is equal to 6. And now I will subtract the 5 over to get 6x is equal to 1. Divide by 6, x is 1 6. Now we talked before that if you would like to check your answer, simply plug it back in and it should work within the equation. A little bit tougher to plug in 1 6, isn't it? Yeah, tough to do that. Some people uh, may not choose to do that. Letter F, I have to distribute two parts here. I have to distribute the 4, and then I have to distribute the 2. So we get <coughs> excuse me, 4x minus 28 equal to 2x minus, whoops, I'm sorry. 
plus 2x minus 10 is equal to 3x minus 1. I had COVID like almost a month ago, and I'm still getting a dry cough from it. Just won't go away. What do I do now? Combine like terms. Very good. We combine the like terms. The 4x and the 2x is 6x. The negative 28 and the negative 10 make negative 38. There's no need to add and subtract things over to the other side yet. First, we gather those like terms. Now it becomes a basic uh, equation where you have x's and numbers on each side. We're going to bring those x's over to the left to get 3x minus 38 is equal to negative 1. I add the 38 to both sides. Get 3x is 37. Divide by 3x is 37 over 3. I know the answer doesn't look very nice, but that's completely an acceptable answer that you could get in my class or on the test. Okay, so this is the new part. Within this class, you're going to see a good review of topics that you've had over the course of your math time in Algebra 2, Algebra 1, Geometry, whatnot. But every once in a while, I'll just push you a little bit further to try to prepare you for things you would see ahead. And here's one example here. Okay? Everybody agree that you don't like the fractions. If you're a person that says, well, I was never very good at fractions, I want you to know that, yes, other people may have been better, but it is normal for every human being to say, fractions don't come naturally to me. We are not wired to handle fractions or division or subtraction. We're wired to handle addition and multiplication. That's where your brain's set up. That was what is biological to you. So I would like to uh, uh, suggest that we just never really work with fractions. Is everybody okay with that? Should we just get rid of them? then let's get rid of them. So we're going to get rid of them. In order to get rid of them, I'm going to multiply through by a number. Talk to the person next to you, see if you can figure out what number do I multiply through to make the fractions disappear. Guess. Hint. It's a number somewhere between 1 and 100. Go. All right, who's got a guess? One, if I multiply through by one, everything stays the same and the fractions remain. Give me another number. Why am I going to multiply through by 18? They all divide evenly into 18. Now, careful, because this is where people get confused. All this means is I divide by the bottom, I multiply by the top. What is 18 divided by 9? 2 times 4 is 8, so I get 8x. Then we move on. 18 divided by 2 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. 18 divided by 3 is 6, times 2 is 12. 18 times 2 is 36. See how they're all gone? I mean, if you saw that problem, you'd be like, hey, no big deal. We can solve that. And that's the beauty of being able to work with eliminating fractions. Most math people don't like to work with fractions either. We know how to eliminate them. I subtract the 12x, I get negative 4x, plus 27 is equal to negative 36. I subtract the 27 from both sides, and I get negative 4x is equal to negative 63. Finally, I divide by negative 4, I get x is 63 fourths. OK, 
okay, I'm going to do the next two with you, then I want you to try the last one on your own. Tell the person next to you, 10 seconds, what number do you think I multiply through by here? Talk to the person next to you, what number do you think I multiply by here? Go, take a guess. Five, four, three, two, one. Anybody got a thought? Twelve is, a, is an option. Eighteen is an option. Twenty-four is an option. Another option is just six. Okay? The three and the six, the common denominator would be six. If you multiply by twelve, that would be fine. Eighteen would be fine. But three and six are the ones in the denominator, and they both multiply to six. Everybody agree? So I'm going to multiply through by six. 6 divided by 3 is 2 times 2 is 4. So I take the 4 and distribute it through. 6 divided by 6 is 1 times 5 is 5. So I distribute 5 through. Now this becomes very simple. 4x plus 8. 5x minus 30. Subtract our 5x. Negative x plus 8 is equal to negative 30. Subtract the 8. Negative x is negative 38. So x is positive 38. Letter C, what number do I multiply through by? 14. 14. 7 and 2 both divide evenly into 14. 14 divided by 7 is 2, and 2 times 3 is 6. 14 divided by 2 is 7, times 1 is 7. 14x. 14 divided by 7 is 2, times 4 is 8. Nice and easy equation. Subtract my 14x's. Add my 7 to the other side. Divide by negative 8. I get x is 1 8. Somebody told me today to think that the lots and lots of pizzas right now at high beer are like two or two of them for ten bucks. So that's a pretty good price. So I'm saying, you know, that's why we're gonna do the pizza tonight. You try the last one on your own. I have a question for you. First we're gonna subtract the one over here. Yep. Hey there, guys, come on in. Now, we're going to go ahead and do square both sides. So we square, just get rid of the square root. Yup. We got x. 5 minus x. 5 minus x. Equals, equals x squared minus 9. No, when you square that, you must foil it out. Well, x minus yeah. 3 times x minus 3. And then I will stab my eye with a spoon if you make that mistake on the test. All right. All right. <coughs> Let's check to see what you got. What'd you multiply through by? 10 is the number. 10 divided by 5 is 2 times 2 is 4. 10 divided by 2 is 5 times 3 is 15. 10 times 2 is 20. 10 times 3 is 30. That's the first step. Solving it from there, I'm guessing that people feel pretty good about solving this. I get negative 16x minus 15 is equal to negative 30. I add the 15 to both sides. And I get negative 16x is equal to negative 15 
divide by negative 16. x is 15 16. You are now ready to complete your assignment. Answer key is posted.